Welcome back guys, hope you're all doing great and it took me so long to complete this project than I expected but I'm 100% sure guys it's definitely worth waiting because this is a very big project we ever done in this channel and I'm planning to make this video in a live session so that we can interact with each other and we can build this project completely from the ground. So help me out to reach more people as much it's possible so that we can build this project completely from the ground. So let me explain what we are going to develop in this project and what are the technologies we are going to use. And this is a full stack um, musical application where anyone can sign in our website and they can listen to our free music. And you can see here it's having a nice UI which is plainly done by using react and uh, tailwind css and we are using mongodb for our backend data storage and we are using firebase storage for our audio files and the image files for the storage purposes and we are using node.js to create our own server to create all the custom endpoints whatever we needed for this complete project and i'm going to show you how to do everything completely from the scratch even if you don't have any idea how to use react or node even if you don't use it before it's fine because we are going to i'm going to show you and we are going to build it together in a live session together okay so this is the uh, home screen once the user logged in they will see this nice ui by the nice search bar and nice filter options and this song and this music player over here you can search any song by just by typing their name so that will pop up instantly over there and you can see that it's having a nice animation which is nicely done by Framer Motion, which comes really handy when you are developing a website let me choose a different artist over here so that i can i can see all these songs which created by that specific artist you can choose any kind of uh, category and you can choose any kind of albums and languages if you don't want anything you can simply clear those um, that filters and everything and here we're having this music player you can see that it's having the playlist and you can change the songs from one by one from here so that will play the songs okay see that song is loading and it started playing okay and even when, by the time if you want to minimize this song and you can reduce the volume level from here increase and decrease the volume level and you can seek through at any point you can simply seek through it and you can use these controls also that will work perfectly and you can move front and back just by clicking this previous track and next track it will work perfectly even if you want to minimize this music play app all you have to do just click this so that will be minimized perfectly and you can move anywhere inside the screen so that in, in even if it is in a different pages so that will work perfectly okay so that's the music player uh, nicely done we are going to create everything from the ground okay as i said it's a full stack project we have a separate admin panel so that we can uh, keep track of how many users we having how many songs authors and albums and this is the uh, navigation panel navigation pan where you can navigate from one page to another easily and these images are taking a little bit of time because of my internet connection so otherwise it's totally fine okay so let me go to the users so these are the users so far i'm having and you can see that the, i'm the admin so far and this is he's also admin and if i want to make him as a member all i have to do click this member and it will ask me do you want to deep, uh, make him as a member yeah of course yes so that will that still it's loading once it's done he's a member and if you want to make him as an admin you can make him as an admin the only difference between the member and the admin is because admin have the accessibility to access this dashboard but the member doesn't have an accessibility so let me show you so let me sign out and sign in back let me sign with this account right now and you, why is not oh, okay it's loading it's taking time okay now you can see that the dashboard is not loaded over there because he is a member he's not an admin 
Okay, so let me go back, sign out, sign in, and go back to the account. Okay, so dashboard and users. So you might wonder if he is the user itself, you can't make him as a member itself. So that option will not available for, for the logged in user. But any of the admin, whoever logged in, they can change the members and they can access the complete credit. Uh, they have the com complete privileges to do everything as the real admin do. Okay. So now if you go to the songs, these are the list of songs. If you want to delete them, all you have to click and you have to do yes or no. That will delete that song completely from our uh data storage and as well as our mongodb okay so if you want to search the songs over here all you have to do just type their name or just type the artist name that will work absolutely fine and in the same way here also you can search the user just by typing their name so that we can filter the users from the and you can filter and you can search for any user just by using this field okay and if i want to add a new song all i have to not only for song for new artists or new album if you want to add a new artist or new album you all you have to do just click this plus sign and you have to type a new song so let me that is the song just a moment uh, over here so as you fade Wait. so you have to choose the artist choose the album choose the language and choose the category and here you're having two different options where you can upload the image and as well as the audio so let me choose this image first and let me choose a different image right now okay we can choose this so here you can see that it's having this nice loading option and that will show the how many percentage it's uploaded. Currently it's showing instantly 100% because the size of the image is that much only. Even if you don't want this, all you have to do just delete this and that will give you a nice uh, notification. And if you want to upload it again, you can choose a different image. So let me choose a different image this time. Oh, come on okay let me choose this one okay and let's go and upload the audio as well musics as you fade away because that's the song i downloaded from the youtube uh, audio library and now you can see here it's showing the number of percentage so far it's been uploaded and it's still it's loading and here we go so you can play pass or play so that you can make sure what song you uploaded and even if you don't want it you can delete it so once it's done all you have to do just click the send option and it's showing data is saved successfully so the data is completely saved in our mongodb so that you can access it in our mongodb and file actually it's uploading to the firestore uh, storage so that will give us the download url we are saving the download url in our mongodb so let me go to the songs and here we go this is the song which i created right now this is i already created for our testing purpose and it's successfully created you can access the music player from anywhere all you have to do just click it so that will pop up and if you want to reduce the volume reduce it minimize it if you want and you can navigate from page to page that will absolutely fine and it will work perfectly if you want to see the playlist all you have to do just click this and you can change the songs whatever the songs you want you can just click to change it and currently it's loading the all songs as the playlist maybe in the future we can upgrade this project just by creating a custom playlist by the different users so that users can um, create their own playlist and maintain their own playlist okay so that's the future development of this project still it's project is having bugs here and there so we will solve and we will rectify that in the live session i hope you guys are so excited so uh, help me out to reach more people as much uh, it's possible in the time and um, because it helps a lot of people 
so if we are reaching more people that will be more fun so that we can code together so help me out to reach more people and i will see and i will see you in the live session